Crusader Kings 2. When the world stopped making sense, I almost caught it after the end, and then I have absolutely no idea what this mod is called. We're playing as Emperor Julius Augustus of the last surviving areas of the Western Roman Empire here, of Hell's Biggest Dickus, naturally. Last episode, we beat this horrible Gothic man um, in, in a war for the last of our province. And as we know, Italy fell apart as well. It, it was conquered by the, the Conan? Conan, the hunter of Italy? That's incredible. Conan. Sorry, Conan. My mistake. I thought that was Conan. Anyway, he's taken Italy. Um, we are the last surviving part of the true Roman Empire, as in we're, we're Roman. We are the Roman Roman Empire. So, why don't we take a little bit of revenge on this dude that tried to take us out last time? We can initiate Foderati no negotiations, or we could just unification for Italia and take his whole damn province. So what does that actually do? Let's take a look. Um... We will gain all titles in the Empire of Italia, along with any we can take with our control outside of it. If we win the war, we gain 200 prestige. We take or vassalize all titles in the Empire of Italia belonging to him. Right, so that's actually going to be incorporated into our domain. I feel like that's not a bad idea in that case. Either that, or it's a case of going for du jour claims province by province. I'm going to take this one. Why am I going to do it now? Because he's got 300 troops left and he's at war with another dude as well. If we can descend on his capital quick enough and take at least some of what we are owed here in Dalmatia, we might be able to... Finish this pretty quickly before these other guys who are at war with him will be able to get a chance to finish him off. So he's currently at war against uh, 3D Gunderet the Wise of Gapidia, which is a relatively powerful place, all things considered. 2,400 men. We can match them, though. We can easily match them. We've already got 1,900 men. Now, are those raised troops or are those our... Oh, those are our hired mercenaries. All of our troops are dead. This could be risky if we get into a battle with this dude, but I don't think we need to worry about that for a while. Let's just go for it. I want to take... My land that I'm owed. Thank you. I'm not necessarily owed it, but you know what? That's that's my story. As emperor, last surviving emperor of the Romans, I feel like I am owed a little bit. All right. Let's call it, boys. Now, we've got some good commanders, too. They're not too terrible. Uh, wow. He just did that out of spite. Hey, that wasn't even worth it for the war score. He just did it to to get some revenge. Fair enough. We've got ourselves uh, Garen of Rivia there. He's a siege leader. We've got ourselves Cataraka Lamkalatitan, who is apparently a... What is that? A highly prestigious case in Indian society. Sure, I don't know why he's joined us then, but fair enough. He is going to be on our right flank, and then our left flank will have Justin, a classic Roman name. Or actually, I'm kind of going to prefer this guy instead. Good at flat terrain and good with heavy infantry, which seems appropriate, seeing as we've got almost nothing but heavy infantry there. Let's go for his capital. Take out the last of his troops. And this is good. A new bird has arrived in the muse with a new book on the art and writing poetry is in the library. Do we want to read the book or take her out for a hunt? It's 50-50 either way. I would prefer the trait Falconer, but again, it's 50-50, so we really have no control over it. And we became an aspiring poet. Fine, you know what? That gives us the plenty anyway, so I won't complain too much. Let's get rid of their capital. Excellent. Good day to you, sir. Um, you've received word that Bishop Antonius has been imprisoned by Thudi Gunderet. Seems he took offense when your court chaplain converted one of his courtiers away from heathenry. Ah, okay. Um, I guess we need ourselves a new chaplain, eh? Did I accidentally send him proselytizing into a different realm? I probably did. So we can proselytize heathens because we just happen to be a religion with high enough aggression to do so. I'm not going to bother with that. We're just going to improve religious relations with uh, Jerusalem, if I can find it. There we are. It's actually called Jerusalem now. Impressive. Nice. We're going to kind of have to, unfortunately, go through all of these sort of Germanic kingdoms, unify them one by one under the true banner of Rome, and then strike back against Italy. Italy is way too powerful for us to take out right now, except they're really not, are they? In hindsight, maybe Italy wouldn't be a bad hit. Now, obviously, they're going to have way more maximum troops than us. So if we're dragged into a long-term war, it's going to be very bad for us. But you know what? I feel like it's probably worth the risk right now, seeing as Italy is relatively undefended compared to us, which have a decent amount of troops, all things considered. Do we want to get in the trait Poet, Diplomacy plus one, and never be able to get in the trait Falconer? Or do we want to take 15 Prestige? You know what? I'll take the tra trait Poet, because this guy's getting on a bit. Our biggest goal right now, Child? Child would be good, seeing as we don't have any air... At all. A little bit of a problem. Now, why don't we pay off the uh, the Jewish loan that we have here. Let's take a look. Where is it? Repay the loan. I'm going to mark that special interest as well so we know that we can do it when we get the option to. Choose a patron saint. Well, we might want to flip over to the patron saint of soldiers being being martial. God damn, our martial is terrible, isn't it? We do need a son. That's our primary thing. When can we switch over to family focus? Oh, God. Not for another... Six, seven months. What about seduction? Seduction will make more sense if you're just after children because it gives the fertility and the sex appeal, which is going to make our wife like us a little bit more as well. Ah, uh, damn. This is... This would be a real shame if we just died without an heir. That would be a real bad way to end this campaign, eh? I don't think that will be the issue. I, I, think, I think we should be okay. Now, let's go ahead. Like I said, 
Brenhilda, you have made me the happiest emperor of Rome that has ever lived. That is currently alive right now, as in, there's only one of them. Alright, we need a, a guy on our flank there. Thank you, Justin. Welcome back. After I sat you last time, you can, uh, you can take your position on the flank again. Now, again, we've got to do this as quickly as possible to try and beat these guys into taking too much of their land. So much that it's going to block us out of winning this war. We should be okay if we keep up. You know what I might do? I might actually go to here first. Take the top level holding and try and beat them to this next one. Because they're just sieging province by province here. Let's at least take the top levels. That will give us the most war score. Now, again, if we could beat them over here, we should be good. We had a song called Julius Biggest Dickers. I've never heard anything so great in my life. We're going to train them in thrift because that is the most beautiful education for this young child here. A son was born to Emperor Julius Augustus and Augusta Branhilda of the Western Roman Empire named Julius. Prince Julius II. Excellent. What ambition do we want now? Um... Grooming air, not a bad plan. It does give us 20% fertility, which would obviously help us get some different airs. Maybe go for that left-handed air. A little bit of extra martial probably couldn't hurt. Um, rain for 20 years isn't going to happen, I'm sorry, but you are 51. Similar great council, possible. But I feel like there are better things to do before we do that. Um, have five children. Doesn't give us any current active bonuses. You know what, I'm just going to take grooming air. 20% extra fertility gives us more kids. Because obviously if Julius dies of maybe being a sickly infant or something, we're going to be a bit screwed. So I'll take the extra 20% fertility. Thanks, game. Right, that one is done. Let's head down and take out the next province before these guys get there before us. Okay, this should be fine. And we'll go and finish that siege if we can eventually. Oh, shit. They just assaulted it down. Seriously? That's annoying. Okay, we'll go back and finish that off then. They're going to go ahead and try and take the sub holdings in that province. We've, we've beaten them to it. 47% war score. We might be in a deadlock here. Very annoying. What is their Castus Bello for? The conquest of Scarbantia. Oh, so they're literally just taking this province here. Right, so that war's got to be over then, surely. 99% um, fair. Sure, okay, that's fine then. I thought they were going to take much more. We're going to lose the province of Scarbantia, but you know what? Who really cares? That's not that big a loss. You know, if it was if it was a subjugation or something like that, which it might be, given that they are Germanic pagan, I thought that, you know, we might be in a bit more trouble, but that's really not a big deal at all. Especially as we're going to get, like, six provinces out of this as well. It's going to be pretty nice. Actually, seven provinces. Assuming we actually take it all, that is. All right. We need a flanker. Ovida. Welcome aboard. No. Sorry? No. Gerald of Rivia, you're on that one. Ovida. Thank you. I appreciate that. I like the sieges don't take very long. That's a nice, uh, that's a nice little bonus that we're getting here. Despite the fact that we haven't got many men either, I quite like that. We're really improving relations with um, the current bishop in Jerusalem there. Is this war ever going to end? Um, sorry? Oh my god, he's got a peasant revolt as well, so we're losing war score because though peasant revolt is counter-sieging. But Titus sounds very Roman to me. Roman? Nicene? This is good. So if the peasant revolt wins... Oh shit, hang on. We're good. I was going to say, if the peasant... Oh shit, we beat both the wars! Nice, nice, nice. That's good. Vassal King? Don't like that for a second. Um, how many members of your house are there? Seven? Oh my god. I was going to say we'll just kill the entire house. He's got three sons. That's very annoying, isn't it? Alright, um... Again, very annoying. However, since he's a traitor, our vassals will not object. Maybe? What's he gonna say no? Yeah, good luck with that. He will not say yes. He's got 33 men. What are you thinking? Like, genuinely, what is going through your mind right now, my friend? Who knows? Um, we kept the sub holdings. That's not right at all. I don't know why that happened. Okay, fair enough. Well, there's 10% war score already. He hasn't got enough troops to be getting any battle war score, so we're gonna be sieging once again. My favourite activity... Um, why did we stop improving religious relations? I'm not entirely sure. Are we already at 100%? Oh, because he's in prison. The High Patriarch Theophilus is, uh, is, is in prison. Well, that's a little bit annoying, isn't it? The Basilius took him out. Fair enough. He wants peace? White peace? Absolutely not. Good joke, though. I like that. Um, after a council meeting, court chaplain Bas Basilus, I keep reading that as Basilius, Venatius ex exchanged a few words in private. Apparently, he's uncovered a rare artifact. Excellent. Go for it. That could be quality three. Could be better if we're lucky. Now, why are these guys hostile to us? That's a real question. Um, why? Oh, he's trying to conquest this one now. Okay, so that's going to be a war we inherit once this actual rebellion is over. A little bit annoying there. There is a big setback in the search for the rumored artifact. I mean, it's got 19 learning, so you'd assume he'd be pretty good at it. You know, the only other guy we could give it to that could potentially do better is, is this guy here. Comes Galenius. Um... But actually swapping commanders over during an artifact search can actually hinder it more than anything else. So I think we'll just wait and see. My wife is pregnant again. Excellent. The backup plan is working perfectly. How has he only got 14% war score when we have his capital? Not entirely sure. Kind of annoyed that we're going to have to siege basically everything down once again just to be able to revoke this title. Will he count as a double traitor? Not sure. 
If we get him in prison, we might just be able to revoke everything. Um, probably revoke everything but his last province, or maybe just revoke the highest title that he has. That's normally how it works. 63% there. This should be pretty easily done. Now we're going to have to fight off this dude next as well. Very annoying there. All right, 50 military tech points. I'll take that. We had a daughter. Useless. Throw her into the river. Um, we're trying to run thrift. And we will call her... Um, food for Ger Germanics. There we go. Perfect name for a perfect daughter. All right, finish the, uh, finish the wall there. Sorry. None of my holdings are occupied by... Oh, shit. <sighs> okay, we got to fight off this dude as well. My mistake. I forgot about that. I apologize. A little bit annoying that they decided to declare a conquest at this point in time, but we do have just enough men to be able to beat them away here. Um, river crossing between those and Severia? No, we're good. Don't have to worry about the Danube, luckily enough. I could have probably looked with my eyes and worked that out in hindsight. All right, good commanders. We need the best ones we've got, if you don't mind, because this is going to be sort of the war to determine whether or not we get to revoke all this dude's titles, so it is fairly important. All right. No river crossing. We're attacking these planes. It's just going to be men versus men. Men versus men and maybe some women, but probably just mostly men. We've done it. We captured in a battle too. That's incredible. All right. Um, we've got a counter siege as well. Hang on a second. Because that's not a war, it means we can revoke him. Uh, revoke him? Nope. That's not the right word. Ransom him off as well for maximum profits. All right. We're good. Um, actually, we do have to counter siege. So we're, we're really not good at all. Nice. That's worked out pretty well, actually. And he's surrendering. We surrender in these terms. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, first things first. I would like all of your titles, my friend. He's a traitor. Our vassals will not accept. Thank you. Well, not object. I should say not accept. That would be very bad. Um, our bureaucratic administration allows us to revoke duchy titles without objections from the arist... Oh. <laughs> Why can't I read the word aristocracy? I'm not sure. But there we go. Without objections from the aristocracy. Oh, shit. That's a powerful government type. Wow. Um, Romans go home? No. Romans stay around forever because they're apparently incredible. You are now a lowly count, not worth my time. You will die in my dungeons, and I will kill all of your children. Um, can we invite some people? Yes, Apiscal, the Frumentari of Bosnesis. Boss, bo <laughs> that place. Thank you for joining me in my plot to murder this tiny child. Where is the tiny child? Probably in his capital, I imagine. Yeah, Bosnensis. Let's get our uh, spy master over there to help things. You know, nine percent. It's not too much. It's not too bad though. Once we, uh, hopefully bribe a couple of people? Well, I guess we're not doing that then. What else can we do? We can hold a grand tournament. I'm not interested in that. Not now. Well, not, not for a while anyway. Let's get these guys down. I'm going to keep the band raised here because they're not actually costing me that much in hindsight. Right, let's give away some of these sub holdings because we definitely don't want them. We definitely can't hold them, can we? Um, We can hold cities? Can we now? We can hold castle, city, fort, and hospital. This is the best day of, of my life. Holy shit. Okay, fair enough then. Keep the cities. We might even want to revoke all of it. The cities are so good for tax. So, forts for men, cities for tax, and bishoprics for piety. Obviously, there are very few religions or cultures that can actually hold bishoprics. I think the uh, monastic feudalism added in Tibet in the last patch can actually get bishoprics. But for us, that's not relevant. Plus, you know, they give us piety anyway, assuming we set it up right. Ooh, forums give a lot of tax income, don't they? Shit, that could be pretty good. Right, what's next on our kill list? Um, probably these dudes here, seeing as we've already smashed the men once. And he's in prison. Um, we could negotiate with him. What do we think? For mutual gains. Do it. Let's see what he has to say for himself. With the two parties not finding an agreement on the nature of the negotiated Fodorati contract, the negotiations have broken. Um, force them to become my tributary. I'm, I don't want either of these things. Excuse me, he's in my prison? I don't want either of those things. Here's what we're going to do. Um, what's the next dude like? 13 Marshal. What's this dude like? We want the worst Marshal in control. Okay, this guy's too good. Kill him dead. Oh no, the lords of Gepida will think less of me. Who cares, right? This guy, you're doomed. How many men have you got? 900 men. Oh, that's nice. Uh, we haven't actually got any claims against him at all, though. Hindsight, probably better to have ransomed that dude off. You know what? Let's try and grab some claims in hindsight. Uh, these guys don't really approve, do they? What's our chance to fabricate claims? 14%. It's not great, but after a few years, we might be able to grab something. Italy is in the middle of the world's largest revolt. 2,000 men versus how many good Roman men? 4,000 good Roman men. I like that. Why don't we try and grab ourselves some land then? In the middle of all this hysteria. We can try and grab the whole thing. <laughs> Why, yes. Yes, I will. Thank you for the offer. 
3,500 men against their puny Germanic Skiriton. Skirian. I don't know what that is. Way less men. Let's put it that way. Why do we want to go to first? You know what? We're going to bring the men back to the capital. We're going to take boats to Venice. We're going to siege Venice. We're going to go to Ravenna, actually. We're going to go to Ravenna first. We have no boats. Ignore that. We have no boats. Belay that order. We are going to walk by foot into Italy. Make him disappear. Who's this guy? Count Andronikos of Belgrade is trying to assert my title. Kill him dead. Kill him dead for your emperor. We failed. And now he's trying to fabricate a claim. You know what? Understandable. Have a great day. Where do we want to start upgrading? Um, I mean, seeing as Spalatum is kind of our sort of default capital. Oh, God. It's really bad, though. God, it's really bad. I don't want to spend my money upgrading any of these provinces if we're going to try and move back to Rome, Rome. Up seven provinces? Wow. Eight, well, technically, eight provinces. Well, that's Rome for you. I mean, it wasn't built in a day, so you kind of expect that. Okay, march on Ravenna. Let's go ahead and take them out. Have they got any troops? We can find some troops. We can kill their troops. Where are you? They are. Hang on. Where, where is you right now, my friend? My rival, understandable. Um, leading troops in Urbinum. Where is Urbinum? Um, Urbinum. Urbinum is there. Right. Let's go kill their army first. Free war score, basically. Free real estate. The church collects his extra tithe. Sure, I'll take the revolt risk for that. That seems like a pretty good trade to me. My daughter, she needs educating. You will be educated in thrift. I caught a princess throne in the sea. I remember that. That's, that's a good name. What do you want to turn her in truly, though? Um, Thrift is fine. You know what? Her mother... Wait. Her stepmother can educate her. I'm sure that will go fine. Nothing to worry about there. Hello. It's... Wait, what? No, kill, kill the actual... Wait, is this his man? Yes, it is. Good. Excommunicated Emperor Julius? Sorry? The, the patrician of Rome has excommunicated us. Well, I see how it is. Now we're going to have to kill them all dead. And you know what? Kill them dead. We absolutely will. Look at this. Beautiful. 20% war score immediately. Let's chase their armies. Kill them dead. Siege the capital. That might be enough to win it. Will it actually? Uh, probably not. I'll be honest with you. Probably not. Excellent. One of my spies managed to gather some useful information concerning my enemies' movements and plans. Oh, nice. We get some levy size. We get morale of army plus 10%. That's very significant. It's going to last two years as well, so that'll easily see us through this war. What we're fighting against now is actually our fellow Roman allies here. We've got to finish this war before they finish theirs. Oh, it's only a civil war for Gavilkind anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, actually, that does matter because I really don't want Gavilkind in my new empire. Do you want to get out of here with that Gavilkind crap? Friggin' Germanic characters coming into Rome and installing Gavilkind immediately. I can't believe it. How many men are we taking attrition by? A 0 0.9, but we're also reinforcing at 53 soldiers a month. So actually, we're going to come out ahead. So it doesn't really matter too much. The plague approaches. What is it? Uh, consumption. Honestly, a bit of consumption never really hurt anyone. Uh, we need a guardian for my second daughter. Food for the Germanics. I will train you in true uh, Skyrian. Well, oh, my mother's Germanic. Whoops. That might have been a bit racist of me then. Sorry, my mistake. Wife, please forgive me. I didn't know what I was saying. Let's take out Ravenna. Another daughter? Seriously? What is wrong with you? We are cursed by the gods themselves. Pet Petronella? Can I rename her? Sorry, I, I forgot to give her a name. Ah, oh, damn it. Could have just named her Petrol or something instead. Siege of Ravenna. It's going pretty well. 35% war score. Let's unite Rome under the beautiful banners of House Biggest Dickus. I will be the highest rank in Rome. 42% war score. Thank you. Thank you. Let's kill the rest of their troops. A little bit more battle war score. Couldn't hurt anyone. 54%. What would be the best province to go for, realistically? Um, Ducal level title. So obviously Venice. But obviously we can't get to Venice because we have no boats. I'm going to take Rome itself. I'm going to take out Rome. Sign the non-aggression pact with High Chief Missy is a the snake of Utala. Monday? Was it West African? Yeah. Um, a wonderful idea. A non-aggression pact with my good West African friend. Thank you. The Romans will remember. Oh, God. Turn around. Let's not do that. Let's use this one instead. Am I going to assault it? Really? Uh, maybe not. No, you know what? I think this is fine. Once we control this, this is the Ducal level top, so it gives us a decent amount of war score, by which I mean 2%? 2% for controlling a duchy. Huh. I guess things are different in, in, in Rome. Um, we're being raided by Zabaganid. Who is Zabaganid? All the way from Ukraine. Wow. Okay. Mr. Worldwide, apparently. Thanks, Pitbull. Um, is there actually anything worth sieging? I guess Malaventum? But walking over there is going to take us quite a while. You know what? I'd rather just take different smaller provinces in Italy just because it's probably just going to give us about as much war score anyway. We're now in a non-aggression pact with my good friend, High Chief Milada. Of the Muromians, a Slavic friend of mine up somewhere. Russia, maybe? Um, yeah, more or less. Yeah, I, I think that's just about Russia. It's kind of hard to tell on this map, you know, without the actual real-life borders. Counter-sieging my beautiful provinces. 
Telling lies? What did they just do? Nothing. Nothing at all. They just basically lied to me. So the army has counter sieged Rome. The, the Roman revolt there. The Italian revolt, I should say. Well, same thing at this point, right? They've counter sieged Rome. Once they leave Rome, we're going to swoop into Rome and siege Rome for ourselves. Did that make sense? I hope that made sense. Florence? Let's take out Florence as well. That seems like a pretty valuable province. Um, we're taking a lot of damage to attrition because unfortunately... Actually, you know what? We're not. We're, we're, we're alright now. Even though, despite the fact that we have just as many men, actually more men than when we were taking attrition earlier, there is consumption, but it's not winter anymore, obviously. Um, so, you know, who really cares about consumption? 87%. Am I actually going to take back the whole of Italy this early on? I think the answer is yes. Yes, it is. 91% war score. Holy shit. Are we going to do it? That would be insane if we took about this quickly and this early. Has Biscal let everyone know about my plot to kill... Oh, my... That dude's son. Yeah, I remember. Got it. Okay, fair enough. Uh, do I care? No. No, no I, I really honestly don't. Come on, 94%. Oh, God. False accusations. I'll take the 100 prestige. Thank you. 99%. Finish them off. Do it. 100%. No way. Is it really that easy? Has he done it? I'm of the highest rank in Rome. Now, what about this Italian revolt, though? Um, have they just ran off, really, and taken this land for them? No, they're still fighting. <laughs> they're still fighting the Italian king. Yeah, rubbish. You can get out of that. Um, I'm going to take back Umbria, if you don't mind. In fact, I'm going to revoke everything, because you are a filthy Visigothic conqueror, and I will not stand for it. I'll take that one back as well. The victory of Nepos. Holy shit, there's an event for it. After having been forced to flee to Dalmatia due to the machinations of the Patreon... Patrician, Orestes, who placed his son Romulus Augustus upon the throne of the Western Roman Empire as his puppet. Your victory in return to Italy marks a return to power after a long period in exile. This reconquest is also a change in the turn of events following the fall of Rome. and may indicate that a, re <coughs> a restitution <laughs> of the old order and authority of the West is underway. Old holders and claimants of what's rightfully yours have been imprisoned and stripped away? Nice, I didn't even need to do that. Holy shit. Ap Apuila got independence though. Not happy about that. Um, off of vassalization? Huh? No? Maybe if I send you a gift? Rom Romana Gallic? That's close enough. No? Not my Dijon liege? Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot that Aprila was not part of the friggin' Roman Empire. Bamboozled again. Wow, look at us now. Can I have Rome as my capital? Uh, if you don't mind, I would like the, the Diocles... No, I want just Rome. Oh, god damn it. Um, I'm just gonna revoke it. Fuck it. You know what? I'll take the vassal opinion here. I really couldn't care less. Give me Rome though. Revoke title, Rome. Yes. I will be the highest wank in Rome. Make it the capital. He's done it. Rome has been restored. You are all welcome. Let's put that. No, actually, I will keep those hired armies up. Now, you, though, you will be my vassal, won't you? Yeah, you are a sensible man. Fora Manelis Flavius Rufus of Luca of House Oliberius. A sensible man. Um, My lovely young wife, Brenhilda, has expressed her boredom. Uh, No, fuck off. I'm the Emperor of Rome. How dare you even talk to me? So, what's the plan now? Uh, military organization for some retinues, some legions. I feel like it's not a bad plan. I will take the religious control mandate so that I may continue revoking everything. Well, that's a bit unnecessary in this, isn't it? In hindsight. Let's give away some duchy level titles to some vassals who will love me. They will. Um, Bishopric, Municipum, Castrum Rossi. Right, perfect. That's what we're after. We will grant this man the province of... What was it called? Sorry, hang on. The province of Flaminia. Everyone hates me because I have too many duchies. That's just the, the whole reason why right now. Let's give away all this crap over in uh, these provinces over here. Couldn't care less about it anymore. I will be completely honest with you. Uh, let's take a look at our characters. Reset my religion, my culture. We'll take a look by uh, men who are preferably not landed, seeing as I don't want them to have too much land. Ganeus, Ganeus. Maybe it's just Gnaeus, or maybe even Gaius. Maybe the Aeneas Sun. I'm not sure. Here you go, my friend. You will get... That's a large province. You're not getting that one. Um, Latium is mine. Get out. You may have the province of Pannonia Inferior. Don't take it too offensively. Juinius. Caestor of Populino, my friend. You may have uh, Salona. There you go. You are more than welcome. Uh, who else have we got? Vola... Vol Volus Volusinus. We should probably see what we've got. See if there are actual any existing dukes there. Uh, we've got Latium Anduatonia. That's massive. Why is that so large? Do we not have... What is... Oh, right. Okay, it's because this dude has it all. Um, fair enough. What can we do about that? Well, we've got religious fabrication. So, did I not finish that law? Bamboozled again? 
welcome to religious revocation. Oh, we, 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 we're, <clears throat> we're working on it. I remember. Thank you. I will take the revoke title law. Sorry, can I actually take what else you've got here? No? Why not? Let's have a special revoke. Okay, so we actually just need to wait for the truce to expire. Then we can revoke it. Also, we do need a little bit higher to get religious revocation, right? We need to be level three or something. No, it was religious control mandates, legalism, level two. Maybe we just can't do it because we are Rome. Maybe, maybe that's the case. Not sure. Now, there are a lot of laws to deal with here. I will read through those in my spare time because that's the type of guy that I am. Council, Chancellor, um, Hathus. Seems pretty appropriate. He's not that good, but he's better than nothing, right? We will have, uh, Naeus or Juninus. Well, this guy dislikes us more than this guy, and they've got the same stewardship, so I'll take you. Court Chaplain, um, Urbanus. Why don't you like me, Urbanus? The Pope and the Papal States. Domain too big. Fair enough. Um, have a, have a gift. Increase his opinion by six. Well, that was worth it. <clears throat> it wasn't. Recreate the Praetorian Guard. I like the sound of that. In the 4th century, Emperor Constantine the First, the Great disbanded the deceitful Praetorian Guard and created the Scolae Pal... <clears throat> that one. To replace them. Now, however, with the Western... Fuck's sake. Something being the danger to the Emperor of the Roman Empire, Vicar of Dalmatia, Governor of Umbria. It is necessary to provide a better guard for your safety. Recreate in the old fashion. The elite Praetorian Guard will ensure the Emperor will never fear again. Long live the order. Me too, thanks. Alright, what else have we got here? Um... Pretty unfair to say that's my province. I guess they're just the same color, are they? Um, we have this province here. Well, he's quite a powerful vassal. I will give him uh, Mutina and all lower turtles just so he likes me a little bit more. Plus, it's his anyway. It's his du jour land. So, um, for a way to keep him on side, I guess. There we go. What else have we got here that we definitely should not have? Um, is this, this ours or is that just a similar color? No, that's Burgundy. We'll deal with you guys later on. Um, yeah, we've got a lot of shit, haven't we? That should be... <sighs> it's really annoying that this guy is here. Because it's causing me so many issues. Now, we're not over our vassal limit by any stretch of the imagination. So, I could just give these to a guy and let him declare war from himself. Which is possible. If we give him four provinces and this dude's only got, you know, four. Then, I feel like he might try and reclaim the lands that, that should be here. So, I'm going to grant him the land title of um, this one. Because he should have all of this central area, right? So, we're going to give him Anduatonia. We're going to give him Ramia. For you, my good friend. We're going to give him... We're going to basically make him a duke in all but name. We're going to give him Senia. Um, and we're going to give him, finally, uh, Corrector. Corrector for my friend, Volinus. Uh, Corrector. Nice. Okay. I'm a little bit over my domain still, but we can solve that no problem. We need to get rid of this bishopric. Now, we want to keep the whole of Latium, so I will go ahead and keep that. And we'll keep Umbria as well, seeing as it's already ours. Um, what have we got here? Bishopric to get rid of those. We're not really interested. I'll hold absolutely everything else that we can. Not really interested in those in particular, though. Rome. Look at Rome now. Holy shit. What is this one? The Roman... Who are you? I feel like I should know you. Offering vassalization. Welcome aboard. Nice. Um, pre Prefectus of the, the... I just don't know who this man is. He's clearly relevant, as he was independent. But I'm not sure who he's supposed to be. He's got a duchy-level title. Roman Prefecture? Who cares? Who knows, even? Um, well, I imagine someone will know. What's he got in his... Just the foot of the saint? Weird, okay. Um, this man is trying to steal my title, so I'm going to make him disappear. That is the type of emperor I am. Idle council members, I would like you improving my good name, my friend. Thank you for that. You will train my troops in Rome. You will collect taxes in Rome. You will study technology in the false Rome. The false idol of the East. Fantastic. Proselytize, is it really necessary? Um... Oh, that's the Pope? That is actually the Pope. Uh, Mr. Pope, you may improve religious relations with... Where are you? Where are you based? Rome? I would like you to improve relations with yourself, if you don't mind, my good friend. Now, can you actually not have me excommunicated anymore? Can we request non-excommunication? Do we have to speak to this, this fella here? I don't know how this works. Um, by indulgence, maybe? How do we not be excommunicated? Great question. We'll worry about that another time. All right, how are we doing right now then? What are we looking at here? Um, I'm going to go for the rulership focus because now we are the Roman Emperor. I feel like, God, this guy's so bad, isn't he? Just absolutely awful. Our son's already started to come out better. He does need a guardian though. For some reason, his past guardian disappeared. Understandable. Um, we're looking for someone who's patient and humble or diligent. That'll do. Fine. Um, this guy's patient, diligent. Yeah, and patient, diligent, humble would be the best combo. But you know what? This guy's not bad. Simplicius, Bishop of Rome. Educate my son. Make him a good, strong emperor. However you see fit. Do you want to hold a grand tournament? Uh, we can afford it, so absolutely. Sure, I assume that increases vassal opinion by plus 10, as it does in the base game. We don't have a court physician. My mistake. Um, you'll do. Hellenic? 
Ah, oh, okay, understandable. There you go. Numeran. And oh shit, there are so many titles. We will name my son Caesar. We will give out titles to the Pope to make him like us a little bit more. What are these? Um, it's court assistance. It's clearly based on their stewardship. Otherwise, there probably wouldn't be a stewardship icon there. Sure. Let's give ourselves some stewardship related. I'm just going to give it to people with good rank. But I suppose, unlike regular honorary titles, this actually plays into the game a little bit. Sure. Uh, the Commentariantis, the official diary. Um, okay, we don't really have anyone. This will do. Pompeius, Praetorian Prefect, you'll do, just to improve your... Oh, Diplomacy of 1. Ah, uh, I didn't realize that was the case. Okay, fair enough. What about this guy? The Axe Keeper, the Court Archivist. I guess that's going to be another Diplomacy guy. You know, I'm just going to give it to the highest one of each one, just because apparently these relate to stats. Seems understandable. There we go, the Praetorian Guard there. You can have that one. The Commas Sancrum La Gratorium. So what I'll do between episodes is I will look up and I will see what these titles actually mean and why they are relevant and why I should probably give them out more effectively than what I've done right now. Battle Pope, welcome aboard. And we will just before we finish up check how our vassals are viewing us as the new emperor. Hopefully pretty nicely. Pope, you can have many, many titles, my good friend. My council, it's just the Pope that doesn't like us. We will improve relations with him over time. Too many held duchies still, but we can't really do much about that because of this frigging guy over here. Um... Yeah, we really can't do much about that unless we want to give away the Duchy of Umbria. But seeing as we don't really have that much land anyway, we're still below our domain size even with all these provinces in in Rome in particular. You know what? I think I'll keep that one for myself. Thank you for watching. Look at what we've achieved today. The Western Roman Empire. Reformed. Powerful. All we've got to do is take back the rest of Italy now. I don't know why they're independent. Probably something to do with that rebellion there. Um, Imperial reunification of Italia. 2,300 men versus my 3,000 not reinforced men. Excellent. We will do that next episode. Time to reform Italy. Where do we go from there? I mean, I feel like we need to go north rather than going east, but we will go east eventually. Do not worry. Thank you for watching. Shout out to all my patrons. At our top tier, we have Sean Thornton, Danny Good, Zachary Harris, Jocelyn, Dean Tesla, Lucas Holting, Haydog, Croesus, Gabriel Vanders, Michael Mullen, Logan Thorne, Conspired Sea, James Ogilvy, Escape, and Jackson Widman. Thank you for your support. And of course, everybody else who's backed on Patreon as well. Brandon Wittoniak. Felix Steele, Princess Ugly the Dragon, Noble S, Quetlarch, Shlizar Reven, Facundo Vasquez, Pole Master, Imperator Augustus, great name, Jack Allen, Chancellor Sheep Palpatine, I am the Lizard King, Llewellyn Thomas, Euron DeVries, Euphrates, Don Coney 2 and 7, Jordan Campbell, and Astro. Thank you all for your support. We've, because of you, been able to form a brand new Roman Empire. That was a lot easier than I thought. See you next time.